Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria and today I'm going to be guiding you through a 25 minute yoga flow for open hips. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position at the top of our mat, letting your hands rest comfortably in your lap. Soften your shoulders down your back, close your eyes, sitting up tall. We're beginning here with an opening meditation. Just beginning to deepen the breath, coming into the present moment, letting go of your day, letting go of your thoughts, and allow yourself to come into the now. Bring your hands into prayer and heart center and let's begin by taking three deep cleansing breaths together. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. One more, breathe in, inhale. Exhale, release. Let your head rest down. Slowly open up your eyes and look forwards. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. Open the chest, look up to the sky. Exhale, hands in prayer, soften your shoulders down your back. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come into prayer. One more time, inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, bring the hands into prayer and heart center, and then let's begin to walk the hands forward. Let your head rest down and go where you can. Notice where you're feeling this most, if it's in the hips, the back, the shoulders. Look towards your hands, walk them over towards the right side. You can place the left hand on top of the right to deepen the stretch and let your head rest down towards the right knee. And then walk the hands back into center and over towards the left side. You can place the right hand on top of the left, breathing into the right side of the body. Walk the hands back to center. Inhale, slowly lift the upper body. We're gonna walk the hands behind us. Turn the fingertips to face back. We're gonna walk the feet onto the outside edges of your mat and just let the knees fall from left to right, bringing some gentle movement into the hips and into the back. Good, and when you're ready, we're gonna come into butterfly pose. So let's bring the soles of the feet together and widen the knees. Good, find that comfortable position. And then again, just turn the fingertips to face back, begin to open the chest and look up. Take a breath here. 
and then you can bring the chin into your chest and you can keep the hands behind you or walk the hands forwards onto the ankles or onto the feet and you can fold forwards so just gently pushing the elbows towards the knees and let the head rest down if that feels good we're gonna be here for a few slow deep breaths just notice how this is feeling in the hips and breathe into any tension or tightness. Another option is to walk the elbows in front of the feet and just let the head rest down. Slowly begin to walk yourself back up. With the help of the hands, we're gonna bring the knees in and just give the knees a big hug. Let the head rest down, take a breath in and a breath out. When you're ready, we're slowly going to release. Come up onto your hands and knees in a tabletop position. And then we're just gonna begin to sway the hips from side to side, from left to right. And then we're gonna begin to make circles. So you're gonna lower that right hip down towards the right Lower the hips all the way down into like a cobra, over towards the left and then back to center. And then just switch direction. So towards the left, down, right, and then back to center. Good, let's do that again. Over towards the right, down, left, and center. And then towards the left, down, right, and back to center good now we're going to begin to bring the big toes together sit back onto the heels in child's pose walk the arms forwards let the head rest down breathe into your hips here Let's turn the gaze forward, make your way back up onto your hands and knees in a tabletop position. And then we're going to sit up onto the knees. So you're gonna walk the hands back, sit up onto the knees, make sure the knees are hip width apart. We're gonna bring the hands onto the mid to low back, fingertips face down, send the hips forwards, roll the shoulder blades together, open the chest. You can keep the chin tucked in or you can look up. The further you send the hips forwards, the deeper the stretch. And then you're gonna place the hands down and take a cat pose. So round the back, send the shoulders up, let the head rest down. We're gonna do this two more times. So you're gonna come to a neutral spine, walk yourself up onto the knees, hands onto the back, inhale, send the hips forwards, come into camel, open the chest, send those hips forwards. And then slowly release. Let's place the hands down back to cat pose, round the back, send the shoulders up, head rest down. Beautiful, back to a neutral spine, walk yourself back up onto the knees, hands onto the mid to low back, hips forwards, roll the shoulder blades together, inhale, open up, maybe go a little deeper for our last round. And then come back to center, plant the hands down, take that cat pose, round the back, tuck the tailbone, lift shoulders. 
come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna curl the toes under and lift up into downward facing dog. So lift the knees and send the hips back. Look towards the feet. You can bend one knee at a time here. You can sway your hips from side to side. Good. Really just doing anything that feels good for the body here. Now you're going to walk your feet onto the outside edges of the mat and begin to walk the hands towards the feet at the back of the mat. Catch on to opposite elbows and dangle. You can gently sway from side to side here. Good, and then we're gonna place the hands down. Heels turn in, feet turn out. You're gonna sink the hips down, come into your yogi squat. Hands in prayer, lift the chest, soften the shoulders down the back. Hands come down, you're gonna extend the legs out straight, come back into that wider forward fold. Again, heels in, toes out, come into that yogi squat, sink the hips down, hands in prayer. Into your fold, hands down, hips up, legs extend, let the head rest down. Beautiful. One more time, heels in, hips down, hands in prayer. Lift the chest, sink the hips down as deep as you can. And then you can just begin to sway the hips from side to side. Now, begin to lower the hands down. Turn your heels in line with the toes facing forwards. And we're going to walk the hands forwards into downward dog. Feet are back to hip width apart. Again, just pedaling out the heels. And then we'll lift the left leg up, bend the left knee, stack the left hip over the right for waterfall pose. Open up that hip, keep your shoulders square. And then we're gonna step the left foot onto the outside edge of the mat on the outside of the left hand. Lower your right knee down and uncurl the toes. You're gonna roll onto the outside of that left foot coming into a lizard lunge. And then you can just gently sway the hips from side to side. Option to lower down onto the forearms. Make your way back up onto your hands and gently push the left hand towards the left knee. Lift the chest. All right, now to release out of it, you're gonna plant the palms, curl the back toes under, lift the knee, and just step the left foot back into downward dog. And you can just continue to bend one knee at a time. And then we're gonna move on to the other side. We're gonna lift the right leg up, bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left, and then make your way into your lizard lunge on the right side. Step the right foot onto the outside edge of the mat, lower the left knee down, uncurl the toes, and then see if you can roll onto the outside edge of that right foot. You can sway from side to side here. And you also have an option to lower down onto the forearms if that feels good. Now come back up onto the hands and gently push the right hand towards the right knee. Open the hip, open the chest, maybe look past the right shoulder. And then you can place the palms down, curl the back toes under, lift that knee and step back into your downward dog and you can just bend one knee at a time here.
Bend your knees, look towards your hands. You can step or hop your way towards the top of your mat. Inhale up halfway, hands on the shins. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands in prayer. Soften your shoulders down your back. Let's bring the hands onto the waist and step your left foot back, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So feet face the same direction. We're going to reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, begin to fold over the legs and place the hands down to the mat. Keep the spine long and you can just begin to bend one knee at a time. Come to center, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold over the legs. See if you can bend the elbows, trying to get the crown of the head down to the yoga mat. Maybe even lowering down onto your forearms, lifting those hips up, stretching out the hips, backs of the legs, even your back. Let's make our way back up onto our hands. Now. We're going to turn the feet to face out slightly. Begin to bend the right knee and walk the hands onto the inside of the right foot for your side lunge. And then you're going to do this on the other side. So walk the hands onto the inside of the left foot. And here I'm just showing you how it would look with blocks. So if you need a modification, you can grab some blocks or something with height. And you can just use it if you need a bit more height. You can even just place the hands on the wall. And as you see, I'm just moving from side to side here. Maybe you can bring the hands into prayer and then try that on the other side as well. Let's bring the hands onto the waist. Inhale, lift the upper body. You're gonna walk the feet in a couple feet distances and then turn the feet to face outwards, coming into a goddess lunge. So you're gonna bend the knees, try to stack the knees over the ankles. Place the hands onto the thighs and you can just dip your left shoulder forwards and the right shoulder forwards. This feels really good on your back. You can do that a couple more times. Keep sinking the hips down. You can sway from side to side. Keep bending the knees, getting those hips further and further down. All right, begin to extend the legs, hands on the waist. Let's step our feet towards the top of our yoga mat. And you can just shake out the legs a bit. And then we'll reach the arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, fold over the legs. Let's bring the hands down and step back into a high plank. Lower your knees down if you need to modify. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows, lean forwards. Inhale, upward dog, open the chest. Exhale, downward dog, send your hips up and back. Lift your left leg. We're going to bring the left knee towards the left elbow and get the foot up towards the right elbow. We're coming into pigeon. So you're going to slide the right leg all the way back. And here I'm just showing you what it would look like if you need to use a block under that left hip. It just adds a bit more support. And then you can begin to walk the hands forwards, maybe lower down onto the forearms. Let the head rest down, breathing into that left hip. Notice how it feels, breathe slow and breathe deep.
and then walk the hands under the shoulders inhale lift to the upper body you can set that block off to the side if you were using it under the hip plant the palms down curl the back toes under we're gonna step back into downward facing dog bending one knee at a time to release And then we're going to do the other side. So you can lift the right leg, right knee towards right wrist, foot up towards left wrist. That block can go under the right hip on the first level. And then you can slowly begin to walk the hands forwards, lower down onto the forearms. Breathing into your right hip. Notice how it feels on this side and breathe slow and deep. Slowly make your way back up onto your hands. Take your time. Take the block out from under. Curl the back toes and step back into downward dog. And you can just bend one knee at a time. Now we're slowly going to make our way down onto our knees. We're going to walk the knees onto the outside edges of the mat, coming into frog pose. Then see if you can slide the knees off of the mat. You wanna keep your ankles in line with the knees. So you don't want the feet to be in or out. You can use a block under the hands if you need a bit more height. If you're a bit deeper in the hips, you can lower it down onto the forearms. This is definitely an intense hip opener. So just go where you can. Remember to breathe deeply into the body. Make your way back up onto your hands slowly. We'll bring the knees in slowly back to hip width apart. And then make your way into child's pose. So widen the knees, sit back onto the heels, walk the arms forwards and let your head rest down. Breathing into your hips, into your back, relaxing into the pose. Walk the hands under the shoulders and slowly lift the upper body. We're gonna set the legs off to the side, making your way into a seated position. You're gonna widen your legs out to the side. They can be closer together or further apart. You can stay here, flex the feet up, walk the hands behind you, or you can walk the hands in front of the hips. Maybe begin to hinge forward slightly. Maybe walk the hands a little further forwards and make sure your knees are facing up, not forwards to protect the knees. Good, maybe you can lower it down onto the forearms or onto blocks. Walk the hands in, slowly lift the upper body, take your time. With the help of your hands, you're gonna bend the knees, walk the feet onto the outside edges of the mat, hands behind you, and just let the knees fall from side to side for some windshield wipers. Now make your way to come to lay down on your back. Come into Supta Baro Kanasana, soles the feet together, knees widen, arms come down beside you, or you can place your left hand onto your heart and your right hand onto your stom stomach. 
Release your shoulders out from under. Close your eyes. And begin to deepen the breath here. Notice how your belly rises and falls with every inhale and exhale. Giving yourself a moment to rest the body and mind. Let's slowly bring the knees in, extend your legs out forwards in front of you, reach the arms back, give yourself a big stretch, inhale, exhale through your mouth, bend your knees, come to lay on one side in a fetal position using your arm as a pillow. Just take a moment here to thank your body for all it's able to do for you and thank yourself for taking class today. Gently push yourself up into a seated position at the top of your mat with your eyes closed. Bring your hands into prayer in heart center. Thank you so much for being here with me today and trusting me with your practice. Namaste. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.